angry guy here and broke girls are crying on social media because they can't afford food. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. By subscribing to the channel, if you already have it, liking the video and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Broke girls are crying on social media because they can't afford food. Let's just go ahead and jump into the first video. How are people affording life right now? Not only am I wondering about how we're all affording to live, I'm also wondering how people are affording to make TikToks where they legitimately waste food. Like I'm spending $400 at the grocery store for food we're eating. We're not making stupid TikToks for views and wasting the damn food. So that's jealousy right there. They're making stupid TikToks where they're showing themselves wasting food because they know people like this woman will watch those TikToks and give them views so that they, then they can go and make more TikToks about wasting food while they are enjoying food themselves. Yeah, it's a virtuous, virtuous cycle. Villainous cycle, but also virtuous. I, I personally, you know, I don't really feel bad for these people. She's just a single girl living in an expensive world. She can't afford fresh food, so she buys food in a box. And also, I hate cooking. Guys, that's another important point. Like, that's how it is with modern women. They do not like cooking. They really don't. And this is a serious thing. Many of them cannot cook. And even if they can, they absolutely hate it. They only want to order out. I don't like ordering out all the time. I mean, I do it. I really despise it. Because that food is not the same as good food. It's not the same as, you know, home cooked food that, you know, you 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 have you get nutrients in these things. There, it's just so much different eating a home cooked meal than this garbage that we're constantly buying from the store. But modern women have been conditioned to live this life. They don't want to cook. They don't want to clean. They don't want to do anything. They just want to be taken care of and pampered. And you're you're not a real man unless you can give them their bag. And allow them to live lives of luxury where they do not have to cook, clean, work. Or if they do work, their money is their money and your money is their money. So it's just a bonus for them. I mean, it's just absolute insanity. Like the level of entitlement is insane. And then these are the same people that will turn around and say that they're fine by themselves and they don't care. They're not going to change. But, that, but they're also shaming a man and saying that, you know, men want the princess treatment. I don't know, y'all. Unfortunately, not every family can afford the luxury of going out to dinner every time they don't feel like cooking. I have to cook even when I feel like shit. I got this on sale for $7.55. They look small, but it was actually buy one, get one free. This is how I make them. It's super easy. Just seasoned salt, cornstarch. Lately, I've been on a roller coaster. Trying to get a hold of my emotions. Ready for pork chops. It's okay that we can't afford to eat out all the time, even though Chick-fil-A sounds so good and McDonald's sounds really good. Because um, being broke has made me prioritize learning some skills. Now, there's pretty much nothing somebody could tell me to cook that I wouldn't be able to. Adobo. Food is gonna take two seconds, so let me whip up my ranch dressing. Some of us, when we say we don't feel like cooking, that's when we make pork chops and canned potatoes. It's not Chick-fil-A, but it'll do. Looks good to me. You know, guys, and here's the thing. She is, like, so resentful of having to prepare this food. A Filipina, on the other hand, would, would be very happy to prepare something, whip something up, because they like cooking. They like watching people eat their food. It's a part of their culture. They are very clean people. I mean, these are women who literally do not want to use toilet paper because it's not good enough for them. They have to literally wash the back and the front every time they go to the bathroom to actually feel clean. 
I mean, you can't really beat them. And American women, you know, they they they're they're just like American women. You know, statistics were done. They actually shower less than men do. They shower less than men do, and they change their undergarments less than men do. It's, it's pretty crazy. And this is how it is in Western society. You know, women live these privileged, entitled lives where they believe that everything should be handed to them. And they literally resent having to do anything for themselves. And you're not a real man if you can't provide everything for them. Like every everything for them, giving them lives of luxury, soft girl lives. And it's so hilarious because they don't realize like all these millionaires, the guys that they actually want, don't want them. Like these men are going overseas and finding wives overseas or they're not marrying at all. A lot of these guys are going MWA. They're walking away from Western society, relationships to Western society. And some of these guys are going full monk where they're choosing to completely abstain from relationships. And they're more than happy sitting at home, playing video games, just chilling. You know, they work just enough to survive and thrive on their own, but they have no interest in, you know, taking on any additional responsibility. And that's the honest goodness truth. And men realize, like, you know, it doesn't matter if you get married at this point. You're, you're not going to have a wife to take care of you in old age. These women are just trying to get their bag. Every, it's all up to you, you know. If it's going to be, it's going to be up to you. It's not going to be up to It's literally going to be up to you. It's not anyone else. You know, you cannot depend on a woman for anything for you know it, it's it's sad but it's true the irony though is a lot of these women they don't know what it's like to be lonely they don't know what it's like to be alone and not have anyone to talk to or anyone to rely on and a lot of these women as they get older they're going to find that a lot of their friends start to pass away move away their parents start to pass away you know or they're no longer close their parents can't hold them down and it's going to be they're going to they're going to start to enter into a world that only men have that men have known their entire lives and they're not going to be able to cope with it you know because you know an 18 year old man is poor an 18 year old woman is rich she's a millionaire she gets everything for free an 18 year old man he has to work for everything he wants he has to start grinding for everything that he wants he learns at 18 that the world is not is not easy the world is hard and you're going to have to do battle each and every single day Women don't learn this like they don't learn this lesson at all until they get older and you know their subsidiaries start to fall apart because the simp economy starts to you know deviate away from them. They begin to age out of the simp economy, and fewer and fewer men want to subsidize their living and they think that they're gonna live off the government, but the government doesn't work that way. They give you just enough just enough to survive, but not enough to thrive. And that's if you're lucky. Because a lot of women end up homeless and they can't live up. They cannot live on these handouts. I'm just being very real with you. Unless they're going through a charity or something, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. Most women are home. You know, when if they're out there homeless for a long period of time, they're homeless by choice. And as is most homeless people, most homeless people are homeless by choice. And there's a lot of options for women when they're homeless. But let me make this very clear. Homelessness, regardless of anything, is hard. And with these rent prices and inflation, guys, you're going to see a lot of homeless people not being able to get food. Like, it's going to be hard. Like, they're going to start getting, like, cutbacks. The homeless are still going to be on the streets like, damn, man, people aren't bringing, out food, bringing around food like they used to because it's so expensive. And you're going to literally have a lot of able-bodied people posing as homeless, like literally running some kind of scheme. Like, they're in the streets posing as homeless. When they're really not homeless, there was a video I, I I showed you guys a while back of this woman who she clearly was an able-bodied woman, and I'm telling y'all she was posing as homeless. She was really posing as homeless. It's not a joke. These modern day women they don't cook, they don't clean, and they think that they have that bomb that bomb V, but really, you know, they don't even know. It's like it's not even that special. It really isn't compared to let's say a Filipina who knows like the, they as soon as they meet that guy they need to really put in the work. They really have to put in that work. Um, I just want to say that it's fucking wild that as a two income household, my husband and I have come to the realization we can't afford groceries right now. Like just straight up can't afford groceries because if we buy groceries, then we either won't be able to pay our rent or our electric bill because both of those come out of this pay cycle and they will take the entire pay cycle. Um, and I just, I just, that's just, that's fucking bonkers. That's so fucking wild. And that's a woman who's married. Imagine all these women who don't have men. They're literally crying on social media, living off credit, and living off the simp economy.
And guys, you're just gonna see the number of women on Only Fools and Lonely Fans, you know, trying to you know shill their wares on there to make a couple hundred dollars a month so they can buy food, and they don't even realize that they're destroying their futures for instant gratification of the present. And that's that's so sad because it's just like you just throw away your entire future for just a couple hundred dollars, bro. Like, does your father know that you're out here on the lowly fans, the only fools, you know, and you literally only have, only have two likes on your, on your post? Like, bro, you only have two likes on your post. You don't have any real subscribers on here. And you're, really, and you're out here doing this? And you've made multiple posts. Like, bro, you have like 15 posts on here. And you only have two likes on like four of, of, of like four of those posts. Nah, bro, you really need to try something else. <laughs> and I've said this before, guys, that the streets lead to lowly fads, and lowly fads leads to the streets. So <laughs> when that's not enough, they're gonna go to the streets. That's really it. Because I said this before, and I'll say it again. It is from the streets that they came, and it is to the streets that they shall return. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to two million. By subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Broke girls are crying on social media because they can't afford food. What do you guys think regarding everything we discussed here today? I want to know your thoughts in the comments, so let's talk about them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, and walking away... And cheer.